Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Play of the Day. There's actually lots and lots and lots of plays today. Today was one of those days where there was like a thousand things to do, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, it's been, it's like feast or famine here in between earnings season. I mean, in earnings season, there's tons of stuff all the time. And then in the in-between the couple of weeks in between earnings season, it's like you get days where it's like a thousand things to do, or you have days where you just have to relax and there's nothing to do, which is funny. Anyways, the IGT was a beautiful gap. And it actually did go, the target was 1340 and it did go there. Next target was 1317 and 13. Didn't make it down there today. And really the extension though in the day was a large extension. Look here, the extension was a dollar. So the extension was what the normal uh, or average size of the bar would do in the day. The problem was that for it to go to the number of 13, the rally, the rally that it had in the morning was so great. Here you can see it in the 15 that it made the extension by going up first and then coming down. This did have a good solid short entry in it. Let's go back. But you had to be patient. And you know, I like to be aggressive, but this is one of these ones that had a late opening. Didn't open till here. You can see the volume there. Yeah, here was the open. <clears throat> more and more we're seeing these where the opens on this exchange are like at 932, 933. Anyways, rallying up here, swiped down 55% retracement of the bar here. There's really nothing to do here. You could have entered this here. The stop has to be here. You got the confirmation after it didn't go over the high. This is this is really not an entry here. It's like a cheat. Here, here. You could have lowered the stop here. Actually, you could have taken more here. So it was a nice solid trade that also set up in the five minute if you were patient. And if you did the first trade, you got stopped out. And then you had to retake it. But it more than made up for it if you kept on and kept on and kept on and kept on it. Here's where it broke 14. Here's where it fell down. There was a late trade in here. There was a late trade in here, and it fell on in. If you followed this through and actually stayed with this into the afternoon period here, when it rallied back, it actually held this area that it was on the 5, came down and broke the low then into 145, 2 o'clock. And actually, this, see here? I mean, this is so typical. Reversal time fits a target out. Let's see where it did it on the five. Hold on. I did it right up. Look at that. Two o'clock reversal time at the target. Out. Actually, this this looking back now, this is not ideal, but it actually didn't behave badly. The the tough thing about it was when you when you see this kind of action here, again, this is machine, 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 machine. It's just a machine generated. I can see what it did. This is definitely the watch for tomorrow. It's a nice watch for tomorrow here. You had to stick with it today in this. You had to keep the conviction. You had to stick with it. The gap was good. This is IGT. This is one of the stocks which show plays today on March 26. There was a lot of things to watch today and a lot of things to do. And this is one of the things that I did today. It did not go to the dream target. It did go to a target, but it did not go to the dream target. So watch this to go to the next target, which is thirteen seventeen, and then thirteen dollars. It's on its way. There's nothing wrong with this here. Uh, just fell very broke late. That was the issue with this one. Rally first was hard, and it broke late. So kind of like ran out of time, basically. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in more information on how to rate gaps, the next gap class is April fifth and sixth. And you can email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks.